to be have Leonard here, bringing you guys and gals Date Live, Date Season 5, Episode 5, 5 and 5 everybody, what is up, what is good everybody, um, watch the opening again after the episode, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm looking at my chat, everyone. Of course, you can follow me on Twitch. Link in the description box. Uh, I can't speak. Link in the description box down below for doing all my live reactions. We have a good time over here on the Twitch side. Come through. I'm very hyped for this episode. Um, it was like we were just talking about before, like Team Mio versus Team Kudumi versus Team. And there are still Toka fans out there. Quite frankly, I don't. I don't really know. I love Toka, by the way. I, I love Toka. Toka ends up being the girl. I don't think there will be a girl. Quite frankly. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Um, I love Toka as a character. I'm Team Kudumi, but I, I know that there's a lot of debate between Kudumi and Mio and all this other stuff. Last week's episode was such a good episode. And I thank everybody, first and foremost, on my chat who helps me to reason through stuff. Uh, those in the YouTube comment section, likewise, with all the comments. And for not spoiling me, which I greatly appreciate, but still providing clarity. Because last week had a lot of stuff going on. I understand there are things that should have been fleshed a little bit better in the light novel. I know I made one mistake where I thought that, I think in the episode, I had it to where it was um, Westcott did like a substitution jutsu with the mirror. I do understand that apparently the mirror, which makes sense based on the opening, um, is actually a part of. Mio's power and it seems that as we watched the episode when Mio was losing it two things number one apparently I thought she lost her mind and she went inverse but a good explanation is the fact that the other Seides go inverse because the powers don't originate with them is really Mio's powers and they're like hosts and it's not compatible Mio didn't necessarily go inverse but rather Mio just start unleashing all of her power and lost... I don't know if she even lost control, per se. But it seems like she split her power. Because that mirror that we see is the same mirror that we see in the opening. Which I believe is the same mirror that's associated with all the Seide and their powers. Which, as we know from the show, Mio goes out of her way to create the spirits. And now she's trying to collect the crystals. Um, yeah, don't get spoiled. If you haven't watched the episode, don't stay here. That's all I gotta say. Um... Mio doesn't care about incest. The Mio mother reveals really. I'll get to that in a second. But again, as I said in the comments, my theory essentially as to what's happening is that Mio wants to bring Shinji back. And we know we have Shido, but Shido, while he looks like Shinji, is not Shinji. He's just a body. He's a vessel, essentially. And I think what she wants to do is bring back, along with the memories, although the one thing I'm confused about is that if she used the memory thing... Well, I guess it wouldn't necessarily work because he doesn't have Shinji's memories because he's not Shinji. I guess that's... Never mind. That's the only thing I was going to think about. But anyway, she's going to use the spirits, the Seide, and basically harvest their power, I think, through means of her mirror or whatever, and she's going to bring Shinji back. I think that's the main goal, which means all of our best girls are in danger, first and foremost. And quite frankly, Shido himself might be in danger because the Shido that we know him as of now will probably be gone if this plan actually goes through. And by the way, and as I'm looking at um your comment here, James, so this is where I'm going to get to the next point. I, a lot of people are Team Mio, and I felt really bad for me. And I think everyone here in my chat especially, I think all of us agree that we feel bad for Mio and generally like Mio and we like Dean and we think this will have some type of peaceful resolution. I am laying this out right now. I don't know what's going to happen in this episode, but as far as I am concerned, Mio, despite feeling bad for her, is still an antagonist. I want everyone to recognize that. And I like antagonists as much as anybody. But as of right now, until we get some type of resolution there otherwise, like, Mio's going after our characters that we like. She has a clear agenda in place that she needs to accomplish. And obviously, Elliot is on board with this as well. But I'm just saying, she might kill all of our characters, including Shido. I mean, that's where things are kind of lending itself to, where she's going to sacrifice her daughter, so to speak. Um, I do understand that apparently Lily Toka is her true daughter, but I don't know. But she's going to sacrifice her daughters and possibly Shido. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of last episode. But nonetheless, let's hop into this, everyone. I just wanted to get off my chest. I took in a lot of information last week. I still don't understand everything, but this series is so good. 
I'm so glad I've stuck with this series for so long. I knew from season one of this series that this was going to be a good show, but I didn't think it was going to get as deep as it did. I thought it would just be like jokes or whatever with some action. No, this is a very good quality series. The amount of people who died ever directly or indirectly. I... <laughs> what was the thing, I Emmy, mean, that we're talking about where I, I think one of the YouTubers was talking about like Mio versus Kudumi. I'm like, they both have killed people, man. But... <laughs> Season 5 is the best so far. I 100% agree with you. 100% agree. Anyway, guys, let's hop into this one. I, I definitely do agree. So far, and I thought season 4 was the best season. Because the more we started getting into the story, the better. I'm now convinced we're only 5 episodes in. Season 5 is the best season of this show. No, I take that back. I thought the second half of season 3 was... That, like, the, the Tobiichi stuff was actually some of my favorite content in the series. Season 1 was great, and to start to finish, in my opinion, minus the Yoshino stuff. Personal bias. Um, season three's second half, with the Tobiichi stuff, top tier. Season 4, great. Season 5, man. This is the peak of Day Day Live. Let's begin, everyone. Smash that like button. We're going to begin. We're going to start this episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. heck is this oh I, she actually is his mother this is so odd I'll make sure you'll never be broken this time star and stripe I can't he'll die oh so thus she separates the powers and they create Ratatouille for him to save the Sede. But he's actually just taking their power slowly. Oh, dang. This is very ominous. I mean, we guessed this, but. But she has. Almost. Shido's and Mewtwo confirmed I'm dead. I'm dead. I still stand by what I said. So Shido definitely, like, Shido as we know it, even if he gets his memories back, will Shido still be the same Shido? This opening makes me so sad and anxious when I see it. It's a very, I just feel anxious. This whole intro is like, dang, when Leonard spoiled that. <laughs> it, it was in the intro. I watched the intro and I pay attention. It's obvious. Like, we understood. I mean, what spoils it really, aside from the mirror clearly counting them all, is when we understand what Kudumi's assignment was on top of that, it makes it kind of obvious. My defense. This war arc, much better than my Hero Academia's war arc. Just saying. I do agree with that. Gosh. Man, get Westcott off my screen, man. I hate this man. I absolutely hate Westcott. There's nothing redeemed, which is fine, by the way. We talked about this as well in the comments. It's fine that Westcott's just a bad guy. I mean, he makes for a good villain. I just hate the man. Well, I thought the say they were on. They're kind of indirectly her daughters don't know because the fact that their powers. Yo, shut up. Shut up, you piece of garbage. Mio? Kudumi? 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 Missed. No. Could it me? Could it me? Piece of 
garbage. Literally killed Kudumi. No! Don't you dare touch her, you piece of garbage. Already not happy. It's all coming back to him. It's all coming back. She's dead. Dean is literally Dean. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You quiet over there. And the sun. Restrain her. It does nothing. I really hate this man. I really hate this. She's very cool. This is not like her whatsoever. Oh, what? Wait, so Dane was the one doing it? Of course she is, but... She's also trying to kill you, by the way. Oh, dang. Oh, she literally was not like even a clone clone. She was literally like a boon sheen. Dang. Totally. Back on the offensive. Back to the mission. Nico Cracked, welcome to the stream. I saw you earlier. Welcome, welcome. Dang, he's cornered. Lewick, yo, what is up? Welcome to the stream, my friend. What is happening? Are they about to become one consciousness again? Yeah, Kudumi's dead. You missed that. And Nane just basically revealed who she is. Oh, God. Oh, God, she's complete. And she has Kudumi's power in there. He don't miss you. He don't miss what you're doing. She really is. I love Mega Man. But that's actually literally what this reminds me of, too. You're crazy. You are crazy. Not like this. She is very attractive. So he has all the memories now. Demo. Exactly. Can I bring Shido back? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let the man die. She kind of sounds like a yonder. I'm not lying. Yeah, we're just going to ignore the fact that Kurumi's just dead over there. I feel very unnerved right now. Like, she has, like, psychotic vibes. She's like, I got this. Everything will be all right. We're all going to be happy and everything. After I just kill everybody else. No. So I was right. So Shido, as we know, is going to be completely erased. Get her, Toka. Get her, Toka. Well, that's the thing. She, had, Even though I'd argue against, she created them. But you are correct. She does have no attachment whatsoever. She could care less. Dang. This is not good. Yamabuki. Majifkua. <laughs> She's like, yo, get off me, man. He's about to add to the harem. Yo, get off me, man. I'm going to save my women. What? <laughs> Yo, Tonamachi forever best boy. Even the three annoying women. Go to your women, man. Totomachi finally gets a W. <laughs> That's so true. First W of the whole series for Totomachi. I don't care on the door. Boom. Go Goku. Channel your inner Goku. That's what I thought. Oh. Oh, he actually did it. Oh, he won Kingdom Hearts. Get him. Get me better cola out of here, man. Yo, Mio, take care of her, please. The heck? What is she doing? What the heck is this? A, huh? The heck is this? The heck is this? Did he release recollection? Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? For those who get my reference. Did he recollection? <laughs> what? Oh, dang. <laughs> Crazy. He was like, yo. 
He's like, yo. This man had half his fleet. His, they're all getting wiped out. This man just laughs. He's like, you have the right to fight, but y'all gonna die anyway. This is crazy. Nah, man, she's she's crazy. Oh yeah, I know Deus means God. I believe that's Latin. I didn't know it was Portuguese as well. But I believe that is Latin as well. Dang, all getting wrecked. Is getting through? Oh no. Wait, is she dead? No, they're not dead. The little Topo Sakai sphere. What? Does she? Did they die? The ones who knocked out? Bruh, Elliot literally looks like Gilgamesh. I can't get over this. Eden. What is she using that killed them? That's what I don't understand. If it touches you, GG. Dang. Dang. Yo, Mike the guy, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the stream. She's not having anything that she says. Elliot really does seem like just a boss. You're literally their direct enemy, man. He's not wrong. If they all listened to him, quite frankly, this would not be happening. Not wrong at all. Dang, this is the village.
This is so hype. This looks so good. Me over here just still killing people, but I digress. He did, by the way. I'm afraid for what's gonna happen. Is the episode almost over? It's already been almost 20 minutes. So much has happened. Here it comes. Can they dent Mio is the question. I'm very afraid. I'm very, very afraid. It's too easy for her, guys. It's, oh, oh, shoot. Did nothing? Where did Mio go? Wait, where is she? Where is she? No, 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 no! No! I hate her. I absolutely hate her. I absolutely hate her. No. I hate this, man. I hate this so much. I hate this. Who next? Westcott. Of course, and now Westcott comes through. What now? Please die. So pissed off. Filter. F. I don't want to hear this ending. <sighs> Are they all going to die? Do I need to watch? <sighs> Take this out of my ear. I can't, I can't listen to this ending right now. Are they all going to die? And can Shido even beat Westcott from everything that we've seen? Nah, I don't want to watch the opening. I want to just forget. I want to forget. I want to forget this episode. This episode kind of has me upset. Episode did nothing wrong. 10 out of 10 episode. But my emotions are very... I think she's literally going to kill every last one of them. Or come close to it. I'm going to have to watch her literally kill all these people. She does all the powers now and he uses them better than before. Wait, hold on. I'm going back. I missed the preview. Hold up. So general belief is that Shido can beat Westcott. This guy's got like one power. Can he? Hold on, let me stop this. What's this preview? So we get village flashback. West got happy.
Wait, something happened to me over here. Hold on. Um, my general understanding is that this is not the final season. It feels like we're at the the end game. But there's still more to come. I my general understanding from everybody I see Mike the guy and Emmy coming through is that there's still more to be had. There is still more to go down. I have this on the wrong way. Shoot. Guys, I apologize. I'm really kind of shook. I'm not going to lie. So next episode, we're going to get Westcott versus Shido. We're going to get backstory of Westcott, Eden, I guess Cotton, and obviously Elliot, and that whole backstory. But dang. Neo really said he should have gone for the head. I'm dead. By the way, if she kills... Kagi, There's two of them, though. They used to do Kagi. So if one goes down... And she eats the spirit crystal or the sephida or whatever it is... From one... What happens to the other one? Or is it like half? They're probably much older than we thought by the looks of it. What are we talking about? No, I think they definitely... Because they stopped aging. They're definitely much older. It's alluded to, I think I mentioned before, that because of the... Sur- not the surgery. But because of a, whatever enhancements they went through in DEM. Or whatever it may be. Similar to um, um, Mana. They're much older despite their appearances if you see how old Elliot looks that's probably what their age should all reflect I'm also the belief now I'm wondering if Elliot makes himself look that old on purpose but he actually looks like what he is right now his young self I kind of dislike and like Mio at the same time right now right now I'm going to tell you I dislike Mio I, I, I thoroughly I I'm of the same mindset as I'm pretty sure Shido is as well. Is that I don't think Mio is bad. I don't think Mio deserved the things that happened to her. And I believe that all this is really at the core. At the crux of it, this is really Westcott's fault, by the way. At the crux of it, that's where this goes. Um, that said, it's just it's, I can't stand by what's happening. She's crazy. She is. I can't, but I'm not going to just, I, I can't justify simply just a girl love doing crazy things. She loves Shinji and she's willing to kill others. Um. Okay, sorry, I was looking at something. She's a Yandere. She is literally on the Yandere path. Actually, she's not on the path. She is a Yandere. She's like, nobody but me. I'm killing all these people. I use them basically so that... Like, honestly, do you know how this all gets resolved? Is that Mio just joins the harem. That's literally how it all works. You just join the harem. Just like we wanted Kudumi to ultimately just join the harem, which is where things were going. The real resolution is that Mio accepts that she's not the only one for Shinji. That Shinji ultimately is gone. And Shido is Shido. And she just accepts it. That's the best ending that we can get here. What's happening right now is that Mio's just like, no, it can only be me and only me. I'm going to erase all of your memories of all these other people and all the pain and this and that. And you're just going to remember Shinji's memories. Because that's all that matters. Because Shinji only cared about me. It's it's honestly, it's kind of messed up. So I, I refuse to, I refuse to, I say this. Do not make me remember Hahari. I mean, that's kind of where it's going, honestly. It's different. She's not actually their mother. I mean, well, well, she is actually Shido's mother. I mean, she didn't, it's not she gave birth to Shido. It, Shido is literally Shinji. She just put him into, there's a difference. We joke about mother, but she isn't actually Shido slash Shinji's mother. Like, she is, she's not Shinji's mother, but she is Shido's mother until she gave birth to him. But also, it's like it's not like it's. In my head hurts, guys. Can we end this video? <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Anyway, all I'm trying to say is the fact that I do not in any way support what Mio is doing. I don't hate Mio. I kind of do right now, actually. I take that back. I kind of do hate Mio. I understand why she's doing this. I understand her motives and everything. But at the end of the day, I can't support what she is doing. Best option is that they're able to somehow reason with Mio. She's going to remember her connection to these girls. Shido's going to be able to draw her just like he did with everybody else. Because this is no different, it's just the stakes are much higher than when he had to ultimately court all the other girls. He has to get her to understand the end of the day is just like, I do love and I do care about you, Mio. I'm not Shinji of old, but I still love you. And I care about Dane-san and all this other stuff. Mio does have Rain's, Nanis, or I always say Dean, memories right now, right? Does anyone think Dean create memories and attachments to the girls? Because honestly, Dean barely appeared outside of the ship. Um, I'm assuming that they do share the same mind, so yes, they'd have the same memories. Um, I think despite that, though, Mio does not care. I don't think there's going to be a situation where she's going to recall Dane's memories and be like, oh, I can't do this. I don't think that is the case. I think she's literally just like, no, at the end of the day, I did this for a reason. All y'all, she doesn't care about anyone besides Shinji. Truly. Like, even Dane is like, probably feels bad. But it really comes down to Shinji at the day. I don't think that's what's going to sway things. I think Shido's going to have to convince her the way he did all the other girls before they liked him that I'm the one for you and I love all the other girls as well. Please join my harem. She was like a piece of meals. Yeah, she was a piece of meal. She's not a direct... It's almost like Naruto's in Kage Bun Shino Jutsu. It's not like she's this clone that's sentient. It's literally... I think they're linked. And they just rejoin, quite frankly. So yes, to say that she's kind of like the Majin Buu split is very accurate. She forms relations for her own benefits and goals. Facts. She remade him, but he lived a different life, so it was a different person. Correct. 100% correct. And that's what it comes down to. So, it, as far as I'm concerned, she could fall for... It's not weird if Shido and Mio... I mean, Mio's like myth, mythical whatever she is. It's not weird if Shido and Mio become a thing. It's Not to me, anyway. It, it's Well, it is a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'd be lying if I said it's not weird, but it's not going to be like, oh my gosh, it's discussion. This is not a hundred... This is not, not... What do you call it? This is not a hundred girlfriends. It's just not. Who are all real normal people. I mean, real. Normal people. In the very first episode, the first person to count to Shido is Dan and she already calls him Sheen. And we didn't realize it. The rewatch is going to hit like crazy. It really will. There's so many... I started rewatching just clips and scenes on YouTube. I have to just do a full rewatch. And it's so crazy, the foreshadowing. Me after killing Kage and Kudumi, that shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's still so much more death to come, I think. Oh, shoot, I just realized something. Wait, if I go back to the opening, I think it just gave us the order of how she's taking everybody out. I don't want to go back to the opening now. I just realized in the very opening, you have Kudumi dies first, and I remember seeing Kaguya and Yuzuru. Oh, no. I gotta rewatch the opening now, I'm sorry. I think I just spoiled myself. The brain is working too hard. Oh no, this opening really spoils a lot of stuff. I I, I, I can't help it at this point because I'm going to watch the opening next time. I'm going to remember. I listen to this opening all the time. I know Toka's the last one. Regardless, you're watching the opening next week. So just don't watch the opening. Just avoid the opening at all costs. Sure. Sure, whatever. But anyway, at this point, if someone doesn't want to be spoiled, just, just don't watch the opening, I guess. Literally, Mia, right now, yes, this is Mega Man. This is the Mega Man image. Oh, wait, why won't it open? Yeah, this is literally... Yeah, exactly. That is literally me in a nutshell. If you remember the Mega Man game, <laughs> like, that is literally what Mia was. I can't. Oh. Okay, guys. Let's end this, this, end this reaction. Watch this instead. I'll do it after the video ends.
Everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Another great episode. Um, yeah, yeah, I know this is. I know this is. Like the video. I'm really conflicted. I'm really conflicted. Um, I think all the girls are going down. No need to confirm in the comment section on YouTube if I'm right or not. But it does seem to be that I'm going to have to watch literally all these girls die. If Toka, I, I, if Toka or Toby each go down, I'm going to be a big wreck. Especially if Toka goes down. Toka goes down, I don't know what I'm going to do. The only thing that saves this is that if I am correct, because this ant... <laughs> It all comes down to Shido's ability to reason with Mio and undo things. The only thing that is the saving grace here is that we understand that there is the ability in the series to go back in time. So, whether uh, it's Shido unlocking the ability through what Kudumi has, because they have a, he has a portion of her power, or convincing Mio to do so otherwise, is the only hope I'm seeing right now. Another one bites the dust. And I want no one lose and no one bites the dust. Like the video, like the video, subscribe, like my content, everyone. It is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care, everybody, and of course, have a good one. Peace. We're done.